Okay, so today I am going to make the first of I think about three videos of the Sentinel project. This has uh, been delayed for about a year and a half now because uh, I was busy with other work, but I think it deserves this attention. So here it is, the Sentinel project, or uh, how to make a super accurate SteriVision paintball turret with target leading. And I'm going to be presenting this in the typical engineering project execution format. So uh, first we'll figure out what it takes to make a good paintball turret. And then we're going to develop concept for such a system, create a digital design, build a proof of concept, test and evaluate. So, system requirements. First, the user requirements. This is like what the user will tell you he wants. Not very scientific, very vague. You keep on thinking, uh, I don't think you know what you're saying there. Anyway, request is one in three shots must hit, perform in a typical backyard, don't need any specialized equipment, needs a user interface, uh, give feedback to the turret, control the turret state, and stuff like that. Should cost less than 10,000 Rand, and uh, must be easy to carry, and uh, shouldn't be very large. So, project life cycle 1.2. This is just what the project will go through until its final stage. Yada, yada, yada. Stuff for the client. System life cycle. This is every single state that the system will find itself in from the day it is born till the day it dies. Um, and then we get to the fun stuff. Engineering requirements. This is translating everything that the client told you into numbers that you can work with. So, let's start. The environment that the system will find itself in. Say typical backyard, did some research, typical backyard has a maximum out to, uh, back radius of about 20 meters, minimum distance I said at 4 meters, span range 70 degrees, tilt range 30 degrees. Then we define the objects of interaction. So the main object here would obviously be the human. So go and find some ergonomic geometric data on uh, human specimens. Cross-sectional areas, aspect ratios, ETC. Figure out how fast they can run, figure out how fast they can accelerate. Here we've gone for Hussein Bolt's starting block acceleration, which should probably cover the entire population. And uh, then we worked out how fast can a person actually dodge based on the acceleration and the distance they have to run and it came out to be about uh, their, their frequency of response is about 4 hertz um, well that's what you need to account for because it's actually 2 hertz but we double that just for safety margins then paintball gun properties we're not going to build a paintball gun so this falls under the uh, in unvariable uh, uh, constants in our design equations so we don't know what this thing can do. So you shoot uh, a statistically significant amount of shots against the wall. Then you figure out the standard deviation. From that, you can figure out your maximum allowed deviation from the target center. That'll still ensure a 95% chance of strikes in three shots. And this turned out to be about 164 millimeters from the target center. So now you have good numbers to work from. With that 164 millimeters, that means at a 20 meter range, you have to have an angular accuracy of about 0 0.47 degrees, and this will give you a hit to miss ratio of 1 to 3, 1 to 2. Then uh, system breakdown. This is going to be broken into three parts tracking system, control system, and hardware. And uh, they'll each be given specific tasks to do based on the functional allocation from the uh, functional breakdown which I don't think I showed you okay then you do other little things like choosing the software choosing things and people and stuff then you do a little Gantt chart make the customer happy give him a baseline cost make him happy and then you can get to the fun stuff detailed design of the subsystems this is probably the videos that you want to watch the next two but this had to be done just for admin sake 